Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and this video is all about iPad accessories. Some of my favorites for the Air and the Pro, and things that make the overall iPad experience even better. And of course, links to all the products mentioned in this video will be found in the description below, and let's get started. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, the platform to learn all the creative skills you've always been interested in learning. The first 1,000 people who join with my link in the description get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, so you can explore your creativity today. Okay, so first up, let's talk about some keyboard options. So Apple's Magic Keyboard is of course a great choice, and I made a few videos about it so far, but it is incredibly expensive and isn't for everyone with its design. So in comes a Logitech Folio Touch, and they now have specific models for both the Pro and the Air. The Touch has full protection all around for the iPad, and you can use it in a variety of positions as well, while the Magic Keyboard just has that one single position. And if you're writing and drawing, you don't have to take the iPad out of the case either, just flip the keyboard around and you can keep on going. So that's a bonus. The keyboard is quite solid, tactile and responsive, with backlighting and full function keys. And the trackpad, while not as amazing as the Magic Keyboard, is still actually pretty nice. Another keyboard option is this one, the Keychron 3. Maybe using your iPad at home or in some sort of desk setup, you don't want to use a keyboard case or anything, this keyboard is a great choice. So basically, this is a no compromise mechanical keyboard that's still ultra slim. It's kind of like a mini version of the popular Keychron K2, which has pretty much taken over tech YouTube, but it's a hell of a lot slimmer. The K2 is great, don't get me wrong, but this keyboard I find to be a lot easier to type on because it's just really not as tall as the K2 is. Mine has red switches and white backlighting, and the typing experience is stellar. It's incredibly satisfying, especially for a keyboard as compact and slim as this one is. And if you're looking for a mouse to complement this keyboard, the Logitech Pebble M350 is a pretty solid move. Super clean, minimal design, it's quite slim, and comes in a variety of pretty unique colors for mice. It's got a precise scroll wheel, nice clicky buttons, and works fantastic with iPadOS. I have no complaints, although I do wish you could actually plug a USB-C cable into charge instead of using AA batteries. Now, propping up the iPad in this little setup I've built here is the OG, one of the best iPad stands, the Compass Pro from 12 South. It's basically a metal easel for your iPad and works both vertical and horizontal for a little on-the-go desk setup. And it's also good if you're writing and drawing and just want a subtle angle while you're working. Also, it folds up very compact and fits in this included sleeve, so it's super portable. There are of course many other great iPad stands in the market, but this one is my personal favorite. It's a little bit expensive, but the build quality I think makes it well worth it. Now you may have noticed something a little bit different about my Apple Pencil throughout this video, especially the tip of it. These are from a brand called Pen Tips. Essentially what they do is provide a softer, smoother tip to the Apple Pencil, which is normally a hard plastic tip. I know some people really enjoy the Apple Pencil experience, but aren't really a fan of the hard plastic tip and the slippery glass display. These pen tips change everything. For certain projects, using the pen tip makes sense if I want a different kind of feeling with the Apple Pencil when I'm writing or drawing. But for other projects, I don't use it. It's kind of a thing you use here and there depending on your work, and I think you might like it if you really want to try something new with the Apple Pencil, and they also come in different colors as well. Now the iPad Pro and Air having USB-C is definitely quite the blessing, but sometimes you just need more ports. So my favorite adapter is still, after a year, the 12 South Stego. I still haven't found an adapter so far that I think can actually beat the Stego, it's just so good. It has pretty much every port option you'd ever need and some things you really don't even need all along the sides. It also has an integrated short USB-C cable so you can just plug it in and get using it whenever you want. It doesn't have to hang off the side of the iPad, you don't have to find some long USB-C cable. It's built in, it's always there for you to use. Plus it has rubber feet on the bottom so if it's on a table it doesn't slide around at all. This thing is amazing. Now, charging up the iPad usually takes quite a while with such a big battery inside, but for quick charging, I wouldn't do this every day. The RAV Power 65 watt charger that I'm using is insane. 
While I haven't actually timed the charging time with this charger, it's absurdly, insanely fast, especially versus the standard 18 watt charger found in the iPad box. Plus it has a long cable, as well as two USB-C and two USB-A ports. It's a charger that's great to use at home for all your devices. Plus the charging cube portion is actually pretty compact. So, so far we've talked about all business and kind of work-related accessories for the iPad, but let's talk about something fun. The Xbox Bluetooth controller for gaming is still my top pick. I've tried a few kind of weird third-party iOS controllers and they always have something a little bit wrong with them, but this one just works very well. It is of course a pricier controller, but I think it's well worth it, especially if you play a lot of iOS games, it definitely makes sense to grab one of these controllers. Just make sure it's the Bluetooth version as a standard version won't work with your iOS device. So those are some of my favorite iPad Pro and iPad Air accessories. Accessories that make the iPad experience even better and let you use it for even more things. The iPad alone all by itself has so much potential and amazing things it can actually do. But when you add accessories to the mix, it changes the game and makes the iPad experience even more amazing. Today's video was brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community with classes about all the creative skills you may have been interested in learning. With classes on photography, design, illustration, animation, productivity, marketing, video editing, and so much more. It's all on Skillshare. It's all taught by creative professionals with engaging, entertaining classes and real projects to help you actually practice the skills that you've learned. And there are plenty of excellent classes like this one from Gia Graham, all about doing hand lettering and Procreate on the iPad. You can make some really cool stuff and it's actually something I've really been interested in learning myself. The first 1000 people who join with my link in the description get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, so you can explore your creativity today. And after your trial, it's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. And a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And that's it for this video, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below about your personal favorite iPad accessories. Also like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.